Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on bus transfer using three-state buffer. Bus transfer using three-state buffer is one of the important topic in computer organization. In the previous video, bus transfer using multiplexer is discussed. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how bus transfer can be done by using three-state buffer. A bus system can be constructed with the three-state buffer instead of multiplexers. A three-state buffer is a digital circuit which exhibits three states. First one is logic zero state, logic zero state, and second one is logic one state, and third one is high impedance state, high impedance state. A three-state gate is a digital circuit which exhibits three states. First state is logic zero state. Second state is logic one state. Third state is high impedance state. Okay. Among these three states, two states are logically equivalent to logic 0 and logic 1 in conventional logic. The third state is high impedance state. High impedance state behaves like a open circuit. That means output is disconnected from the input and it does not have any significance. So that is the meaning of high impedance state. So these are the three states exhibited by the three state gate. Okay. So here the block diagram of three state gate is shown in this figure. So it consists of two inputs. One is normal input that is represented by a letter A and the second input is control input that is represented by letter C and one of the output, the output is denoted by capital Y. Okay. So here the control input determines the output. How it is determined the output is if the control input is, if the control input is equal to 1, so the output y is equal to the input. Here, what is the normal input? A. If the control input value is equal to 1, the output is enabled. So when the output is enabled, the output y is equal to the normal input. Here the normal input is A. So then the output of the three state gate y is equal to the input of the three state gate that is a. If the control input value is equal to 0, so then the output is disabled. Then the output of the three state gate goes to the high impedance state. High impedance state means it behaves like a open circuit it does not, the output is disconnected from the input. Okay, so if the control input is equal to 0, whatever the value in the normal input, okay, that input does not affect on the output of the three state gate. Okay, so then the three state gate enters into a high impedance state. Okay. So next, 
the high impedance state of a three state gate is a special feature by using this feature a large number of three state gate outputs are connected with the wires to form a single bus line okay so that is the special feature of three state gate but that is uh, not available in any other gate only that state is available only in the three state gate so this feature is not available in any other gate by using this feature the output of the three state gates are connected with the wires to form a single bus line okay Next, how these three state buffers are connected to form a bus? So, okay, here there are four three state gates are there. The output of the four three state buffer gates are connected to a single bus line. Single bus line. Okay, these four three state buffer gates three state buffer gates has a control input so this control input determines so which of uh, determines among these four input lines which of the input line is communicated with the bus line that is determined by the control input of four three state buffer gates okay so that means in other words, each and every three state gate has a control input. So the output of the three state gates are connected to a single bus line. Okay, by using this control input, so we can determine which of the four input lines of four three state gates are communicated with the single bus line whether a naught is communicated with the bus line or b naught is communicated with the bus line or c naught is communicated with the bus line d naught is communicated with the bus line so which input is communicated with the single bus line that is determined by the control input of each and every so three state gate Okay, so this control input is connected with the output of the decoder. So, here there are four outputs of the decoder. So, among these four outputs, so which output is selected by using these two selection lines? So, here S1 and S0 are two selection lines. By using these two selection lines, we can select only one output among the four outputs. Okay, if S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0, 0, so it is decimal equivalent is 0, so then, so output 0 is selected. Output 0 is selected. So S1, S0 is equal to so 0, 1. So then the decimal equivalent is 1. So output 1 is selected. Output 1 is selected. Next S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0. The output 2 is selected. 2 is selected. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1. So that is 3. Decimal equivalent is 3. So now the third output line is selected. Okay. So suppose S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. The decimal equivalent is 0. So the output G, 0 line of the decoder is selected. So this output 0 line is connected to the uh, three state buffer as a control input. So then this control input determines 
whatever the input is there that is a not a not is communicated with the bus line suppose s1 s not is equal to 0 1 the decimal equivalent is 1 now the output line 1 is selected this output line is connected to the three state buffer as a control input so this control input determines so the normal input b naught is communicated with the bus line next s1 s naught is equal to 1 0 the decimal equivalent is 2 now output line decoder output line 2 is selected so this output line 2 acts as the control input for the three state buffer gate this one so this it determines the normal input c0 is communicated with the single bus line next s1 s0 is equal to 1 1 the decimal equivalent is 3 then the output of the decoder line 3 is active so this output line 3 acts as the control input for the fourth three state buffer gate so it determines so the normal input d naught is communicated with the bus line okay so here four outputs are there two inputs are there that is two by four decoder is used okay so here one input is enable input if the enable input value is equal to one so now the 2 by 4 decoder is active whenever the 2 by 4 decoder is active so among these four output only one output is active by selecting the selection lines s1 and s0 then the corresponding output acts as the control input for the corresponding three state gate so then the normal input for the corresponding three state gate is communicated with the single bus line when the enable input is enabled if the enable input is disabled okay so that is e is equal to 1 and e is equal to 0 so e is equal to 1 the enable input of the decoder is enabled so then the out the 2 by 4 decoder is in active position among these four outputs only one output line is active by selecting the selection lines s1 and s0 whatever the output that is selected this output is connected to the three state buffer as a control input this control input determines the normal input that normal input acts as the output of the three state buffer gate so then it is communicated with the single bus line if enable input is equal to zero the decoder is in active position the four outputs are in active position whenever the four outputs of the decoder in inactive fashion so then these four three state buffers are not in active position so then the bus line goes to the high impedance state okay so at a time among these four three state buffers at a time only one three state gate buffer is in active position okay so in the same way among these four outputs of the 2 by 4 decoder only one output is in active position so the corresponding output so determines which three state gate is active okay so at a time only one decoder output is in active position so at a time only one three state buffer gate is in active position only one input at a time only one in normal input of the three state gate can access the bus line okay so this is the introduction about the how bus transfer can be done by using three state 
three state gate okay how data can be transferred by using bus in the three state gate so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so dibbela srinivasarao Thank you.